close your eyes and watch your breath. Tell yourself that nothing else in the world matters right now, just the mind with the breath together. Other things outside, you can pick up your other responsibilities some other time. Now it's time to be responsible for your own mind. Because after all, the mind is the most important thing in your life. It shapes your life and it has an impact on the people around you. That's something over which you can exert some control. So this is where you are responsible. As St. John so what used to say, each of us has only one person, by which he meant each of us has only one person that we can really be responsible for, and that's ourselves. And the responsible part in, in ourselves is the mind. The body simply does what it's told for a while. It does a few things that it's not told to do. But you're responsible for things you tell it to do. And you want to make sure that those orders from the mind come from a good place. So we create a good place in mind by staying with the breath, making the breath comfortable. So we have, some, have a sense of well-being inside. After all, nobody's forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. And yet we let the breath do all sorts of uncomfortable things because we don't think that it's important. We don't pay much attention. And when we feel oppressed by the way the breath is going in the body or the impact of the breath on the body, then we start taking out on other people. As the Buddha said, if you want to look for the causes of suffering, keep looking back inside, back inside. Don't go blaming this person, that person, the world out there, people out there, the, the weather, whatever. It's what the mind is doing right now. That's what makes it suffer. And you can change what you do. So we start by looking inside, creating a sense of well-being inside, and then trying to work from there. So this is your foundation. One of the John Fuang students once complained to him, saying, I've been meditating all these years and still working in concentration. When do, I, when do I get to the insight? And he told her, okay, make sure this foundation is strong before you start building anything on it. If the foundation is weak, you build one story and it collapses. The foundation is strong, you can build many, many stories on top of it, and they won't collapse. So make sure your foundation is good. Once the foundation is strong, okay, then you can build. But even then, you've got to keep looking after the foundation. So try to get familiar with this place. Get So you have this sense of being with the breath is your home. Make it a good home to be with. And then the things you do as you come out of your home will be coming from a position of comfort and strength. <laughs>